Hello everybody, this is King Alfie, and today I'm going to be giving you a tutorial that you've all been asking for for a while. I'm going to show you how to get Optifine slash Optifabric on your replay mod, that way you can render all your videos with shaders. Now I feel like I should mention this early on, but you really need to follow all the steps in this video step by step and as closely as possible, because if you don't, then this will not work for you and your game will crash, so you have been warned. This tutorial is also assuming that you already have the Fabric Launcher, Replay Mod, and FFmpeg downloaded and installed, so if you haven't done that already, head to the link in the top right hand corner and get that done. I have a tutorial for all of that, and uh, yeah, after you're done with that, let's get on with the tutorial. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head to Optifine's website, which will be linked in the description, and head to the download section in the top. So after that, you're going to head to the only download option you got there, and skip this page after you can, it's just an ad. There we go. And it'll bring you to the actual download page for Optifine. So download that guy. Uh, yeah, download. There we go. And after this is done downloading, you're going to want to bring this file to a place where you can find it again. So I'm just going to drag it to my desktop for now. So we can get on with installing Optifine now. And that is the same as regular vanilla Minecraft. So you just need to double click the jar and that'll open this GUI, and then just hit install. It'll do everything for you, and it'll open up a confirmation window when it's all done. Now, we do have to take one extra step when we're dealing with Optifabric, and that is we need to make sure that jar file is in our .minecraft folder. So we're going to open that up using Windows and R to bring up the Run menu, and then percent appdatl percent to bring up the roaming page. So you're going to open up your .minecraft, and then you're going to open up your mods folder, and you're just going to drag Optifine into your mods folder. This way, Optifabric, when we have it installed, can pull files from the Optifine files. Now you'll notice that if you open up Minecraft right after installing Optifine and you head to your video settings, you'll have none of your Optifine settings available to you. That's because Optifine was not made for Fabric, it was made for Vanilla Minecraft and Forge. So what we're going to have to do is get Optifabric now, and that basically allows Minecraft Fabric Launcher to read all of the other files from Optifine. So you're going to head to CurseForge's website, which I'll have linked in the description below, and you're going to scroll down to this first download link right here of Optifabric. So hit that download button, it's going to bring you to another one of these skippable pages, and it'll start downloading for you. So just keep that file, and you're going to want to bring that straight to your .minecraft folder, so we're going to open that up again. There we go, and we're just going to drag our Optifabric into our mods folder, like so. And now you can relaunch Minecraft. Now, assuming you followed all of the instructions properly, you should have Minecraft loading up here. And once it does finally load up, in the bottom corner here, we should be able to see that we have Optifine installed now. So if we head to our video settings, you'll see all of your regular Optifine settings that you usually have in vanilla Minecraft. If you followed these instructions out of order or you forget anything, then you may wind up in a situation like I showed you before where you don't have Optifine installed, or even worse, if you do Optifabric first and you forget Optifine, or you forget to drag Optifine into the mods folder, then your game will just crash as soon as you launch it. And now that you have Optifine and Optifabric installed on your Fabric Launcher, you're now going to have access to all the Optifine settings, including the zoom again. But more importantly, what I know you guys are all looking for is you'll be able to put shaders on your replay footage. So if you head to your options and you head to your video settings and shaders, as long as you have some installed, you can click on your shader and it'll load in. It takes a second because, you know, shaders. And once your game finally catches up to you, your replay will look something like this, which just looks phenomenal. So now with Optifabric, you'll be able to take a regular replay like this and apply shaders to make it look more like this, which just looks absolutely epic and you'll be able to make some really cool atmospheric replays for all your videos. So play around with it, have some fun, and I hope that you guys will make some cool videos. And that, my friends, is how you get Optifine slash Optifabric working with your replay mod. So using this, I hope that you guys are able to get it working and you're able to make some really epic replays with shaders and everything. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I play on the Enigma SMP server and upload LPs frequently. So make sure to check those out as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.